It's the Maria Bamford Show! I was a marginally successful comedian living in Los Angeles for 14 years doing stand-up, but I never got my own sitcom and then my boyfriend turned out to be bisexual. And I forgot to pay my insurance premium, so I couldn't afford my medication for OCD, depression, and anxiety. So I started driving cross-country in a blonde wig and a bathing suit looking for angels with a drug dealer named Lips. And then my parents found me on a sidewalk selling clock radios in Detroit. They said, hey, why don't you come live with us in Duluth, Minnesota, while you try to get your medications kind of stabilized? And they took me back to their house, where I'm living in the attic with my 11-year-old pug named Blossom. It's Maria Bamford Show. Hey! Episode 1, Dropping Out of Society. Rise and shine and come get your glory, glory. I told my mom not to wake me up. Listen, kid, I brought you a Diet Coke for breakfast. I know you didn't want to wake up, but it's noon and you missed church and we're going to go to Target to get a fun island. I told you not to wake me up. Listen, kiddo, you need to get the sheet between your skin and the quilt because your skin has oils. I must wash the sludge of humanity from my skin. So, sweetie, are you taking a shower? Can I just get in there real quick and just show you something? Oh, I didn't know you were naked. Oh, sweetie, listen, if you want to get breast implants, we will support you. Not financially, but, but emotionally. Do not push your mother. Do not. My sister's a pathologist, though I like to introduce her as, this is my sister Sarah. She cuts up the dead into chunks. I hear you have a joke about me. What's your joke? No, it's not a joke about you. It's just a generic sister joke. What's your joke, joker? My sister and I have the same voice, so it's hard for me to do an impersonation of her, but she came up with one of me. My name is Maria, and I think I'm a big deal because I've been on TV, so I don't have to do the dishes or wake up before noon and blah, 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 and jibber, 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 clang, clang. Dude, where's your cart? I'm not going to get a cart. I'm not, I'm not going to get anything. Dude, if you get a cart, Mom will buy you shit. Get a cart. Sarah, Maria, Maria, where's your cart? Mom... I don't need a cart. I'm not going to get anything. Maria, don't be a martyr. Get a cart. Sarah, why don't you fill your cart with Diet Coke? You know what? Put two carts together. Make it a wagon train. Look at this. It's a pair of culottes with a matching stationery set, Maria. This is gorgeous. You're getting it. You're getting it. I don't want to hear any more about it. It's a picture frame, but it spins. Look at that, you can put, you can see your family members, but in a different format. I mean, we don't know these people, but you know, that woman looks familiar. Ryan, do you remember Christy Coombs from high school? You mean my arch enemy? She's working register five right now, and mom is checking out with her. Oh, you're gonna die. Hey, Christy, congratulations. I mean, it's like 10 years too late, but I heard you and Todd got married. That's great. And we're divorced. Oh, I'm so sorry. So we saw you on TV or whatever. Oh, that's so cool that you guys would watch you on TV. It's that's... just like in high school. It's like you're not funny. You're just weird. Well, comedy's subjective, you know. So are you gay? Because I heard a lot of women comedians are gay. No, I'm not gay. Oh, well, that's good. Because remember we all went to Christian Bible camp? And we all went skinny dipping that night? And you wouldn't take your shirt off? I'm like, oh my god, you got nothing to show anyway. And then you took it off, and we all gave you titty twisters. I thought, oh my god, if you're a lesbo, you'd have been all turned off by that. And I just got all grossed out. That brings up a lot of horrible memories. Pete Patterson, he does this awesome impersonation. He goes, I don't know if I can do it. He's like, I'm Maria Baffer or something. And um, he said, he goes, I wouldn't have fucked that freaking high school and I wouldn't fuck her now. Christy, why don't you go suck it? Why don't you go suck it? Fuck you. Fuck you too. Do you need to hop out of the car with your bags? Next week, Maria gets a job. Do you have any secretarial skills or anything? I can type. Uh-huh. In short spurts. Uh-huh. With lots of mistakes. We might have something for you!